Great Western form. Bill Belichick, Sean McVay, Matt in the Super Bowl. It's talked about a lot. McVay said after the game, it's all you guys ever want to ask me about. I bet he was more excited to talk about it here. Jared Goff loosening up like Chip Douglas before the basketball game and then doing this. The dunk off of Jack Black's back. No, this is awesome. This is on a fourth down and goal, and he did the classic Drew Brees jump. Aggressive. Cam Newton now. How's this go? They would struggle a lot. There he is with McDaniels, second and nine early, down 10 nothing already. They're gonna try to set up the screen, and it is picked off. Picked off by Danny Young. Kenny Young. Kenny Young, excuse me. Watch Jalen here trying to block. Give me a little of that. Kenny Young, I should take a lap for calling you Danny, but it's Kenny and West is a group effort. Oh. Aaron Donald grabs the running back to hold him back. Leonard Floyd gets in the face, and then McVay runs all the way to Santa Monica. <laughs> Cam sitting down, tired, beaten up, and it's not going to get any better if you show this guy. Aaron Donald. <laughs> Cam is 6'5", 245. He threw him down like it was Ken Dorsey. Why would you put one guy on Aaron Donald? I don't know, Nate. Why would you put two? He's the best player in the sport. 17 to 3. Here we go. Cam Akers is the place for me. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And he gets shoved out of bounds. That's fine. He was a workhorse in this one. This is going to set up 17 to 3 in a first to go. Cooper! Didn't play in the Super Bowl. Peace strikes out. He might be an X factor last night because they needed him in that Super Bowl. He was not a huge factor. He blocked really well and had a toe drag swag. And this was, guys, a blowout and maybe the end of an era, we'll get into it. The Rams needing it at home, 24 to three, in a game that was stopped being competitive maybe late first quarter. But let's hear from the victorious head coach. Sean, did you remember one time you played Bill Belichick in the Super Bowl, and did it ever occur to you during this matchup? It enters my mind because that's all you guys asked me about. So, uh, you know, I'm just kind of kidding a little bit. But, no, it's, I mean, it's something that you think about because it was the last time that we played them being a cross-conference opponent. And so it was a big game. That's always going to be a part of, um, you know, the coaching trajectory for me and, and, and a night that, uh, you know, you got to be able to learn from. It was important because it was our ninth win. But as far as, you know, any sort of redemption, I, I do think what, Mike, what Coach Mark said is true. It doesn't uh, – it doesn't get back the, uh, the hurt and the scars of that night. I can promise you that. Well said. It played it very cool at the end with a quick handshake, quick hand on the shoulder, a couple taps there oh. on Bill Belichick, and then here we go. The NFC playoff picture. Big win. They're trying to get back to the Super Bowl, make memories of their own. Huge, huge for them to hang on to the number three seed in a really top-heavy NFC. Over in the AFC, the Patriots really needed that to stay alive. In that in-the-hunt picture, womp womp, they fall to six and seven. Now it's almost impossible. It is almost at a zero, right? It's like not 10% chance. Now. Seven. Seven, according to the New York Times. Lots of different seven. models there, of course. What did you make of this Rams? But I don't know. I don't ever. I don't think I've ever rocked the, the Rams. Why not? I just I've got a lot of history with them from St. Louis. I did. I talked word? about it on Twitch last night. Don't worry about it. Uh, but I don't okay. often rock them. Cam Akers made me so excited about everything he did. A hundred, oh, close to 200 yards. They have a run game. They've got a defense. Blowout over the past. What do you think, Dave? Yeah, uh, you can't bring that up and not talk about it. Yeah, so we'll talk about it a little later on the show. It. We got three hours. Talk okay, about it. Um, I'm watching this game and. Of course, the Rams are playing well, uh, but I wasn't thinking about offense, defense, certain players. I was thinking about Sean McVay and how much pressure he has to feel. And not a, like the pressure he felt in the Super Bowl, a different type of pressure. When you have a defense this good, when you, and we've said it on this show, I remember Schrags, uh like months ago saying they might have two of the best players in all of football, Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey. And it's a strong statement, but the way that they shut down this team it, it had me thinking about Sean McVay and the type of pressure he's feeling moving forward. Month of December, January, and hopefully a Super Bowl run. He knows that his defense is good enough to go to Super Bowl. He knows that his defense is good enough to win a Super Bowl. This isn't the, the offense from a few years ago where they put up 50 points and it's like, all right, it doesn't matter if the defense doesn't stop anybody, they can outscore anybody. No, no, no. Sean McVay's greatest work will be how he finishes this season mm. and what they do in the playoffs. We always give him a hard time because he's the boy genius. Now you really have to prove your genius because your defense will not let you down. Your offense mm -hmm. is going to have to hold it down. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. So I'm going to ask because you said it's a stress for him, and I think that's true because he's an offensive mastermind. And now it's, is it a relief, though, to say, hey, maybe I don't need to be the da 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 and just sit back and do enough to win? Like, what would you look at it as far as think about him, how he is that, you know, Beth Harmon, Queen's Gambit, beautiful mind. He sees the pieces. <laughs> for sure. And yet 
he's just like, run the ball three times, let's play defense. Yeah, I felt like a couple of years ago, he was Tom Cruise in Minority Report. He's moving all these pieces sure. around and everything was flying and it was so impressive. And now it's different. There is a relief, but if they play a game and their offense can't put up points, but the defense holds the opposing team to seven points, mm -hmm. then we're all going to look at Sean McVay. We're not going to look at golf. We're not going to look at Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, the superstars. No, no. We're all going to look at Sean McVay. That's why I feel like the pressure's on. You know what? I know he wants it, yeah. and he likes it, and he's here for it. Yeah, and the way they played last night was different than they used to play. And not to get all X's and O's, but I was talking with Matt Hamilton before the show, who's our producer, who really gets in the film. It's a different offense because they run different formations. Yep. They have two tight ends out there the whole game. So yeah. they were a power running team last night. You look at the way they broke it down here. Again, we're talking about offensive personnel charts at 7 a.m. Why not? That's what for it. Is. Go for it. 43 plays with one running back, two tight ends, two wide receivers. Their typical offense from that year yep. was you'd have, Three wide receivers. Brandon Cooks and yeah. Cup and Goff and Josh Reynolds and wide outs all over the place. No, no. They went 43 plays from that personnel. And then, of course, it was the Cam Akers show. Okay, you mentioned them, but like this has been a long time coming. They have been high on Cam Akers since the combine. He blew the combine away. This is called the Deuce Staley drill. No kidding? Right? You got his own drill? He has Deuce? his own drill, That's Deuce awesome. This is what it is, and Deuce coaches it at yeah. the combine. He was so good at this, I got a text from an NFL GM, not Les Snead from the Rams, a different team saying, huh. they need to rename this drill the Cam Akers drill. Awesome. He was that dominant. They get him in the second round. I know McVay was thrilled, and I gotta be honest, I put him on my list early in the season as top 10 breakout stars. I thought he was gonna pick the ball right up from Gurley, run for 1,500 yards. It didn't happen right took, away. It took a while. They eased their way into yep. it but it's hitting at the perfect time. Cam Akers can lead this team, and he's ready now, and they didn't rush him onto the field before he was ready. He was one of the peace regs, August All-Stars, and I mean that. You do that segment every year. You had Mahomes in it once, guys that will break out. You say in August, Cam Akers top yeah. 10. Because of the combine drill and because of the buzz? Because of the buzz, all training camp. They thought... I was surprised he didn't get the load of the carries back in September and October, yeah. but here we are. They did it by committee this. early on. Goff yeah. said yesterday wow. he recalled a game against Washington. That game was on October 11th, Shregs, where he was like, he had like a 40-yard run. He right away last night and giving him props was like, no, we've known. He said it. We've known that he can do this this whole time, and now the whole country got to see it. The whole country also got to see the Rams just destroy the Patriots, destroy them. I think the Rams are going to the title game. Like, I'm in. I'm NFC a, title NFC game. title game. I, I'm in, and I, I'll tell you why. They hit... They run, and they're not run upon. Now, you may say, oh, that's a lot of teams. There's really only two teams in the NFC. They're like, we have a top 10 run offense. We have a top 10 run defense. It's the Saints. Yep. It's the Rams. Yep. You can go down the list. You can talk Packers, Bucks, Seahawks, Washington. None of them can say that. None of them run or hit as well as the Rams and the Saints. I think they're going. The only rub, the rub is the quarterback which is why I like seeing Goff go over the top, get a little fired up last night, get a little pissed off maybe, because that is the only concern once those playoff games start is that Jared Goff is capable of an F. Mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, they, aren't, they could have a C-minus game. They're not giving you an F. And I don't mean the Super Bowl. The hell, that's ancient history. The Dolphins game this year, the Niners game this year, Goff was terrible. So it freaks you out if you're a Rams fan or if you're saying they're going to the title game. I think he's come a long way. I think the defense and running game is awesome, and I think that they will be in the NFC title game. I do. The Rams have been at their best under McVay when they run the ball a ton. They did that. They'll do that. They'll be dangerous going forward. Uh, by the way, Cam Akers has the Jets, the Seahawks, and the Cardinals to wrap up the season. He's your fantasy football savior that's going to win you your league uh, if you drafted him per Peter Schrager. So you're saying... Yeah. You're saying that they they'll beat the Saints, obviously. They'll they'll beat the Saints or they'll well, they take might on the Saints then. or take on yeah. someone. They might meet them in the title game. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of what I trust more. Like if if Drew Brees doesn't come back and it's a, it's Taysom or it's um, or it's even Jameis versus Jared Goff. I don't know if I tr I don't know if I trust Goff more. I think he's too inconsistent. We'll see. I yeah. mean, Jameis, I don't think we'll factor in it at all. But and and I think the Saints are great, and they might meet in the title. And they'll have Drew back. But I think when they meet somebody, whether it's it could be Kirk Cousins, it could be Kyler Murray, it could be a lot of people. I think the Rams will go through. Well, I, I think they're in the title game. And on top of that, out of those quarterbacks you named, Jared Goff has been to a Super Bowl more mm -hmm. recently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as far as trust, the fact that he's been to the mountaintop. True. That Niners up. game is pretty recent, though. <laughs> I know. It's tough. It we want to have a moment where like Jared Goff is showing up. Yeah. He's an adult. He's here. But there's been some tough games. He's been to a Super Bowl more recent than a lot of.